All right. Next stop, everybody, it's number seven in the organization, Saix, which probably surprises you why he's number seven and not number two, since he was basically Zemnis' right-hand man. No, he's number seven. And boy, howdy, if there was an award for, well, if there was an award for a fight that went from really easy to really, really hard, it would be this one. This fight and the Demix fight probably got the biggest buffs in the data form compared to their original form. Saix went from being laughably easy to probably the easiest member of the organization. He's one of the hardest data fights, if you ask me. Now, before we go, we're not going in equipped like we were for Axel. We're going to want the Ultima Weapon back on. We're not... Actually, I, I will keep Wazaga as my magic spell. But the main problem with Saix is like... Okay, the only real differences between him, other than the massive strength and HP buff, are that he no longer starts the fight in the Berserk State, but once he goes in the Berserk State, it's nearly impossible to bring him out of it. Especially once the fight goes into the second half, in which case, the only way to bring him out of his Berserk State is to grab onto one of his, like, Claymores and use the Eclipse reaction command on him. That's pretty hard. For number one, the Claymores that he throws into the ground that you can grab onto are only, there, like, able to be grabbed onto with the reaction command for, like, half a second. So the timing's really strict on it. Plus, if he uses his Desperation move right after you pick it up, you just can't break him out of it. And, like, 99% of the time, he will use his Desperation move. So it basically just becomes a whole battle of attrition. Let's battle Saix again. At least it's an awesome song that plays for him. Oh, yeah. Hi, Saix. Do you feel it? The moon's power? I don't, actually. So yeah, his Berserk Gage doesn't start full for his data fight. You gotta break it out of him. So when he does his no escape attack, all you have to do is use a grapple gun and break him out of it. And when he starts charging, then all you have to do is combo him. So he's already almost halfway done with his HP and he hasn't even gone Berserk yet. But now he's going Berserk and you're gonna see why he's so annoying now. When he's doing this, I recommend just kind of gliding. This is his desperation move that he never got to use in his regular fight because we ended it so fast. Where he basically goes on a berserk rampage and destroys everything in his path. And there's no way to really break him out of it. And he doesn't leave any uh, claymores for you. Yeah, so the Claymore was only in the ground for like two seconds and it spawned too far away for me to really do anything about it. Nice thing about the Claymore, uh, you can use the reaction command faster than you could in this regular fight, and you're completely invincible while you're carrying it in this fight, man, because it would be unfair if you weren't. Yeah, I get used to hearing, ALL SHALL BE LOST TO YOU a lot. Because he basically will spam his DM if he gets low on HP. And that's basically all he'll do. Which means you really can't break him out of it. Alright, cool. Take that. Maybe we can finish him off before he goes to Zerk again. Thank goodness he can only do the one wimpy combo when he's not Berserk. Nope, he's going Moonshine down again. Alright, well, we're, pro we're probably never breaking him out of this. He's still laughably easy if he's not Berserk, it's just when he goes Berserk. Oh man, this is tough. I don't want to go wisdom form. I just wanted the free heal and the free MP heal. Okay, so if you attack him when he's like that, that's the key. You've got to attack him when he's taking a break, and then he'll lunge out with that attack, and you can actually break him out of it. That's what I was missing. That's the only way. Otherwise, he will just always go, All shall be lost to you. Okay, never mind.
Oh, he's one of the easier data fights. <laughs> I actually want to fight him again, because I feel like I didn't give him enough screen time. I feel bad for obliterating Psyx. And defeating Data Psyx gives you a defense boost. Oh, dang. Well, now that I know that you can just... I know, you just have to attack him while he's berserk. Because normally, I, it, it's very counterintuitive to attack him while he's in his berserk state, because you really can't do any damage to him. But that's not what you're about. If you attack him when he's in his berserk state, he always lunges out with that attack, which you can use to retaliate. I see. Even I'm learning as the fight goes on. There's another funny thing you can do where, uh, <laughs> you could prevent him from ever going berserk by using Blazaga. I'm not sure if I know the strat for it, but it's possible. Speedrunners can loop him in a way that, like, he literally ne never goes berserk. There's something you can do with Plazaga where, like, if you Plazaga him at the right point, he will guarantee do his, like, no escape move, as opposed to going berserk, even if his berserk age is full. I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna see if I can bait him out to get a no escape. Darn it. So I'll show you what happens if you don't attack him while he's in this berserk state. At least once he's alive. As you can see, he just keeps doing his VM, and this he does it even more when he's low on HP. He still has half health. Nice finisher. All right, I think I think I figured out how to uh, Blizzard move him. So what you do is you use a Blizzard and he'll always retaliate. Then you throw out a Refluga, combo him, and then you shoot another Blizzard at him, and it will force him to retaliate even if he's at max Blizzard. So do that. Okay, well it didn't work that time. Never mind, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> I like tap him on the shoulder. Hey, Syx, do you mind if I ask you? <laughs> that was funny. Alright, well, I beat Data Psyx pretty easily then. Never mind, I used to put him as one of the hardest Data fights just because I was so sick of it. I, I'm not kidding, I, this, this fight against him would take me like a half hour just because I was waiting for a time when he wouldn't use his desperation move and he would just always use it. 
Okay, never mind, I put him as one of the easier ones then. Now I understand, because people never, whenever people mention hard data fights, they really never mention Sayaks, which kind of confused me. I, I get it now. I get it. 